Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Hey guys, it's your girl Emily Patrick and you are on the Instant Nerd channel watching none other than another wonderful episode of Cooking with Pot. Now today is kind of a rainy, blah kind of a day so we're going to make potato soup. That's right, soup with potatoes in it because I love potatoes and today's the perfect day for soup. So we're going to go ahead and make something warm and tasty, okay? Hey guys, now for this potato soup recipe, what you're going to need, as always, is your crock pot. So pull out an, a decent, about a medium sized crock pot, will probably do fine. Then what you're going to need is, you're going to need potatoes, specifically uh, diced hash browns frozen. I went for a generic one. Now keep in mind, when you grab this, uh, it's probably going to have some icy chunks. I kind of like just dropping it on the counter a couple times, make sure you feel looser pieces of potato instead of blocks. I feel this will help it in the future somehow. Also, don't forget cream cheese and cheese from the cheese family. The cheeses. You also need two members of the chicken family and no, I don't mean other forms of poultry. I mean chicken broth and cream of chicken. Soup. Soup. That's my mom. Uh, yeah, so you need two chickens in the liquid and attempting to be solid but still liquid families. That's not weird or creepy. And the last ingredient on our crock pot recipe that I pulled up courtesy of my mom's faithful searching online for me is what all the men are going to care about. The bacon. Don't forget to sprinkle some in the crock pot and on top at the end because nothing's better than with this with bacon and no thing that you add bacon to tastes better than bacon with bacon just more bacon alright guys so now that you have all your tasty tasty ingredients waiting on a counter to be poured into a crock pot with anxious anticipation and bated breath because these inanimate objects are actually able to breathe what? um what you're gonna do but you're going to take your potato bag and obviously just rip it open because you're, you know, ooh, that was actually easy. You're super strong and cool and you like showing off to whoever's in your kitchen with you. So rip that open and show off your muscles there. And pour the whole thing into the crock pot. Don't be shy about it. Just dump it in there. Pour it over. I like the idea of evenly distributing the liquid across the potatoes necessarily say that but it sounds like a cooking thing you do right flash this is making me have to go to the bathroom step of course is to take your cream of mushroom soup and put it in with that chicken broth and the potatoes because well two is the loneliest number that you'll ever do after one so three uh, honestly will end up being as bad as one but at least they're not as lonely um, so crack that bad boy open Again, remember to always take every opportunity to show off to anyone that's in the kitchen, including being able to open up the can on your own. Pop tops are amazing. Um, for this, you might need a spatula, tiny little special, to get the stuff off the sides because we want as much as possible out of this can before we just toss it. Do not waste food. There are starving people here, there, and everywhere. Let's be honest, they're everywhere. So respect that and get as much of the food out of the can as possible because it'll taste better. Just saying. Now, it doesn't specifically say to stir all the ingredients together a little bit, but let's be honest. Crock-Pot's though amazing can't just make everything look all pretty, pretty, sexy, sexy without your help. So, stir up the food a little bit so that it's already evenly distributed. Help that Crock-Pot out a little bit because, you know, you love it. Hey folks, now the next step is to put half, I repeat, only half of your bacon bits in the crock pot right now. I understand you're going to see the bacon, you're going to get really excited, you're just going to want to pour the whole thing in. I get it. Bacon. Right? But only half, only put half in. Hey guys, so I am back. It's been seven out of your eight hours and now what you're going to do is you're going to take that cream cheese and you are going to cube it. Yes, little boxes. Make little boxes with it. 
and you're gonna evenly distribute it into your crock pot you're also gonna take a cup of cheddar cheese or if you feel some other cheese would go great with it about a cup of that whatever you decide I am not here to tell you what you have to do I am here to tell you what the recipe says and is recommended that you do but we are creative individuals so if you want to put some other kind of cheese in there you put the cheese that calls your name into that crock pot I'm fine with it. Last hour of your eight hours of cooking time in that crock pot should be done and you should have something that looks like a lot. Mm. It looks pretty tasty. Now it says to sprinkle the remaining bacon bits and the last cup uh, worth of cheese because you should have two cups worth of cheese shredded uh, for this recipe. So the last bit of cheese on top, get that nice tasty topping going on. We're gonna give it a try. I hope I don't burn my mouth. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, really hot, but good. So, um, that's your recipe. If you guys try it out, remember to go ahead and post a picture of it online with the hashtag CWP Show. I love you guys. Respect yourselves, enjoy some cooking, and cook responsibly. Try not to, you know, burn the house down. I love you. I'll see you later. And I am out.